it's like it stopped snowing but it's been like snow showery kind of day and I kind of feel like having like a pot roast and I've never made one before so that's gonna be my attempt today it's a small rose it's like less than two and a half pounds but I want to make it in my Dutch oven with some carrots celery potatoes um, maybe make some Brussels sprouts on the side and I was debating if, if I should make rice with it or not but I think it would taste good with like the gravy that is cooked in so I'm gonna attempt that and I'll show you guys um, how I'm gonna do it I found this recipe on Pinterest I'll link it down below and yeah hopefully this turns out good right now I just got some oil in my Dutch oven and I'm preheating so I can sear the roast so I just chopped up my onions and garlic chopped up my carrots and celery and I seared the roast so now that I have all this yummy brown stuff I'm going to throw in my carrots onions garlic celery tomato paste and let that all cook down a little bit okay so after I sauteed the onions and all the vegetables and stuff I put in some tomato paste and unfortunately I didn't have any beef broth so I used veggie broth I put in some thyme oregano a little bit of more salt and fresh cracked pepper um, and now I'm gonna put the roast in I also preheated my oven to 300 degrees and I'm gonna leave that in the oven and let it slow cook if they say about an hour per pound so since it's two and a half pounds I'll do three hours because I want it extra like tender and falling apart what are you doing So just put the roast in the oven. I'm gonna check on it in about two hours and then I have like some potatoes I want to put in there and let that cook for the last hour or so. And I'm gonna have some lunch. I just gave Lila her lunch. And oh I just remembered I'm doing laundry, so I gotta go check on that too. <laughs> So it's been two hours. I just took the roast out of the oven. Now I'm gonna add my carrots and let it cook for another hour. It looks so good. So my roast has officially been in the oven for like a little over three hours and it looks so good. I don't have any um, parsley so I just chopped up some chives and just sprinkle it all over just to give it some freshness some color it looks so good the broth is like a little runny I kind of want to thick it up a little bit so I think I'm going to do like a cornstarch slurry and make a gravy I'm going to try that and see what comes out taste it again. I didn't have any Brussels sprouts so I'm just keeping it simple. Literally meat potatoes. So good. Hey guys so I'm back with another little Target haul. I know this kind of seems a little back to back considering my last video was a Target haul but it's been a couple of days since then and I went to Target today so I grabbed a few things because actually, actually they have some really good sales going on right now. But basically all their decor candles were 20% off. All of their bullseye playground, the like $1, $3, $5 section was 10% off I believe. And they had like a bunch of other stuff that was discounted this week. So I went to my local Target to see what they had because as I told you guys before I'm still on the hunt for like um, little things for Lila's room 
So I actually found some cute things that I think will work. And also, um, we got a like um, little stand in our half bathroom downstairs because there's very minimal storage in there. So I wanted to get like little jars and stuff to keep like tampons down here and just like cute decorative stuff too. So starting with the bathroom, I got this little stand in the dollar section. This was $5. And I guess this would put like plants and stuff like that, but I'm actually gonna put this on the bathroom sink so I could display um, like soaps, the soap and lotion. Right now I have like this little um, little shelf thing that I got from Amazon. It's just like a simple black plastic shelf, nothing crazy. So I thought this would kind of like upgrade the bathroom a little bit. And then for the bathroom I also got this little jar. How cute. It's like this um, like cream color and it had like this texture, weave textured on it. So I thought this would be a good little jar to keep like tampons in little more discreetly and then also for the bathroom I got this little um, decorative tray in the dollar section of Target I thought it was super cute it was three dollars um, I got this hearth and hand candle in the scent willow it's really pretty it has like this speckled paint drops on it and there's a little bit of texture on it so I thought it'd be really cute on top of this tray in the bathroom I also got this the same scent because I love it so much it's like really clean smelling like if you're at your local Target go sniff it <laughs> um, I got the matching hand soap and the lotion I'm gonna put it on top of that little stool that's all I got for the bathroom for Lila's room I got this really cute shelf to put on her wall it's like this light wood color I thought it was super cute um, hang it up on her wall put some cute little decorations or books or something on here I thought it was super cute this was also from the dollar section it was five dollars and this was also from the dollar section I found this cute little tapestry I thought it was so cute and perfect for the theme of her room because remember I said I want to do like a garden like theme. So I found this cute print and the colors match like the yellow and pinky blue tones that I'm trying to go for. Also from the dollar section, this was $3, these little like clay vases to put on her dresser. I thought they were super cute. I like how they're different shapes and sizes. I got these little tulips from the little dollar section to put in some of them. I think that's all I got for Lila's room. I'm gonna have a little girls trip in like a week or so. We're gonna go up to the Poconos for the weekend and I'm so excited. But I wanted to get like some cute cozy pajamas to wear there because my pajamas they're cut like I get really hot when I sleep so I'm pretty much scantily clad while I'm asleep. So I got this PJ set from Target. I thought it was super cute because it's still going to be kind of chilly um, up there. So I got this like tie-dye PJ set. It's long sleeves, but it comes with little shorts. So that's perfect for me because, and it's also like a really thin, like cool material. So I won't be sweating in the middle of the night. Some other random stuff I got. I need to get some menstrual discs. I like relatively new to menstrual discs, maybe like almost a year. I think I'm coming on to a year and I love them. I'm so mad at myself that I never started wearing them earlier. They're amazing. Like once you get the hang of it and like, you know, there's a learning curve to inserting it and removing it, but it's not a big deal. These are amazing. This is my favorite brand, Flex. These are the disposable menstrual cups. Along with that, I got this um, like intimate foam wash for your vagine. I usually use the Honey Pot brand, but they were sold out at my Target. So I've used this brand's like um, menstrual products before and I liked them. So I figured I'd try their, their wash and see how I like it. It says no fragrances, sulfates, or parabens. It has vitamin E. 
so I'm gonna try it out. That was my little Target haul. I feel like it wasn't too bad. I, I purposely went in there to get these specific items. I didn't get anything extra, so pat on myself on the back for that. So I'm here doing my little Target haul, and I realized Lila is just a little too quiet. I find her in the dining room like this. What were you doing? Did you eat my lipstick? No. Are you sure? No. Look at your face. Look at that. What is that? Sit again. <sighs> well, now I gotta clean her up. She got into my my lip balm and kind of did a little damage to it. When your kids are a little too quiet, just know they're up to no good. It's a little later in the day. Clara's home from school. <laughs> She's playing in the background. Um, I'm gonna make some apple turnovers. I decided to show you guys how I make them. They're super simple. First things first, you're gonna need some puff pastry. I'm getting this. I'm using this Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheets and you want to let them thaw out a little bit for like, it says no more than 40 minutes. So I usually do about 30 minutes because you don't want them completely thawed out. You still want them to be slightly chilled because if you let them completely thaw out, they just end up into like a sticky, doughy mess. So you still want them to be a little um, frozen so they're easy to roll out. So you're going to need, ideally you need three granny smith apples but i only have two because lila ate one i take the peel off and dice them don't want to turn it into like applesauce you just want finely diced pieces and pull now you should have all your apples finely diced like this so once all your butter is melted you're gonna throw in your apples And you're just gonna cook them down for like 10 minutes or so till they soften up a little. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of vanilla extract in here. Now that it's softened a little bit, it's been like five minutes, I'm gonna add cinnamon and the brown sugar. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. And now I'm going to add the cornstarch slurry just to thicken it up a little bit. And once it cools, it'll be a little easier to scoop into the puff pastry. So I'm just going to... And you want to mix it quickly. So this is what the filling should look like. Once it cools, it'll thicken up a little more too. So I'm just going to leave this to the side because the puff pastry sheets aren't fully, um, it hasn't been 30 minutes yet. So I'm just going to let this cool down in the meantime. About a tablespoon. Or like, let me see. So maybe like two tablespoons in each pastry. 
get the other pastry and you're gonna kind of make like a little pop tart. You're just gonna pinch the edges with a fork. I'm just gonna make little slits in them to so the air won't be trapped inside. So now I'm just gonna do a little egg wash over the pastries so they get nice and golden. Oh my god, they just came out of the oven. Look how good these look. They're perfectly flaky and golden brown. Cool a little bit and then I'm going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. Okay, sorry for the horrible lighting, but now I'm going to do a little taste test. It's been like 25 minutes. They're cooled down. I'm going to take a bite. This one looks so good. I'm going to get like powdered sugar everywhere. Wow. That's so good. Mm. So good.